important we keep students at school and become members of a, of a community so that when they leave school and go out into the workforce they're prepared for it and you know they're at their best, the best they can be. My name's Cam, I'm a vocational education teacher at Quinana Senior High School. I had an environmental science degree behind me and uh, decided I wanted a career change. Knew some people that were teachers and thought uh, you know it might be a good change for me, a good challenge. All right, you guys are going to be dividing some plants today. I'll put it on the board inside. There may be four new plants that we can make from this one. If you want to go and get all the gear ready, then I'll show you how we're going to divide those up. I'll get you guys to do some potting mix so that we can use that in the cuttings and the replanting of the plants, the division of the plants. It's a straightforward 50-50 white sand and organic soil mix. And don't overfill it because we want a nice consistent mix. So I do teach maths to these guys, but it's all vocational maths. So we try and fit everything in out here so that the students aren't stuck in the classroom with their maths books because a lot of the really good workers you see out here, you put them in the classroom like that and they, they don't really function that well. I reckon I'll learn more in this class than I do in any other class. <laughs> it's more hands-on. You actually yeah. do yeah, you do actually the work instead of just teacher reading about explaining it. it. Well, Brownie does explain it to us, but he also actually makes us do it. That's how we learn this stuff. Just have a look at how it grows. Yeah. They grow from the middle. Like, see that? Yeah. Cut that. You might even have to cut the pot off with a saw. But if you're going to go to recess... Yeah, probably not. All right, you're more than welcome to. You can go. I enjoy being here because I like, like, like doing stuff with, like, being able to watch that it go from a like, big root-bound plant like this to several smaller plants. Sort of come a long way since um, the but start the, of the year. My aggression last year. Yeah, you did have a few problems, didn't you? Yep. Still have a few, but I'm just trying to sort them out. He's an awesome teacher. Yeah, he's like yeah. the best teacher in the school. Yeah, one of the best, no doubt about that. He loves yeah. to have a joke around, unlike all the other teachers, and yeah. yeah. And actually yeah. talk to him. Yeah, you he's also he's like a friend, not like just a teacher. Mr. Brown, someone broke that fence. Yes, was it you? Oh. And that's where oh, I cut my hand. I helped. Nice. <laughs> I helped. Or break. Yeah, me and Beck undid the wire and then someone broke the pole because we were sick of jumping it to get to home. Oh, well, that's, that's probably showing some initiative, Cash. But it's also bordering on vandalism. I provide them with a really good environment to learn in and they need to provide me a really good environment to teach in. And if we don't get both ways, then I'll just take their, their, you know, all their privileges away and turn it back into a more of a normal style of classroom. And um, they soon learn from that and, and pull their head in. <laughs> but I'll show you these plants before we get back to, to the shed and you can um, pack everything up then. If I remember where they are Malcolm, where were they? This stand of grass trees here are the ones that we're going to be working on because they're going to actually go. So we're going to trim those back. That's great, get into it. It'll take you quite a while to come out and explain to them that next week there's going to be machinery coming through here. It sort of gives them a, a real meaning to what they're doing. All of a sudden they get enthusiastic and they get more out of it because they know that it's real. It's not just from a textbook or it's not a pointless exercise. I had really shocking grades last year. Mr. Um, I left school last year um, and I was working in an abattoir for a while and then I come to I come back to school and Mr. Brown was the only teacher that would give me a chance. And him giving me the chance because I opened my eyes to new, new opportunities. A lot of the time come to me as a last resort to actually see them succeed when uh, you know maybe they've been given up on that's that's really 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 rewarding. Yeah, it's supposed to be rounded. See here, you just made it nice and close to that down. Yeah, but you've done that again. That's it. So you're in too high, so you need to drag back up from the bottom. So work from the edge and then make the parts the same height. That's exactly it, mate, because then you've got a starting level, okay? Yeah, today we've put the students down. Um, we're going to be planting out in some areas that we're rehabilitating. Uh, some concrete arrived at the last minute, so I thought it was a good opportunity for the guys to get involved in that. Yeah, then we're going to go off and start planting uh, all the plants that we've, we've grown or, or um, actually taken from other areas of the new school and put them in the ground. Now, make sure you do this nice and safely. Consider your backs, consider what else is going to happen. Uh, staking those trees over the other side of... Yep.
John, just hold it, mate, while they shovel. Get the water onto that now, Scott. One of the most important things for me when I get new students is to build up a relationship with them where they know that I'm there to do the right thing by them. And whether it be an issue within or without the school, that they can come and speak to me and that there's, there's a trust there and I need to know that I can trust them to do the right thing and, and vice versa. That tends to make the classroom extremely relaxed. It tends to bring the group of students together and they tend to work as a team and they don't feel isolated, they don't feel threatened by anyone and it's another thing I do is to make sure that everyone treats, it, treats each other right. I'm probably one of the few teachers that doesn't go home and um, you know, in a stressed way I can go home and think, well, well, I've had a great day and I can wake up the next day and look forward to going to work. He's a great teacher and, yeah, he deserves to be recognised, I reckon, because he does a great job and he takes care of his students really well and he treats them, he treats them like they're his best friends and stuff because it just makes learning so fun. And yeah, I've never had a teacher like Brownie. He's, like, so unique in that and, yeah, it's great to have.